Hey YouTube, it's Bebo Lamar here, and for our, I, I just remembered I have to let that intro go now. Why? Because summer's ended. On um, Monday of this week, school for me started, and that was August 1st. I'm not happy with uh, how early school started. Mm, not allowed. But, uh, yeah, we are back with some more Universe Sandbox Squared. Um, as you can see, um, we are yet again doing the, um, planet collection thing, as I'm going to be doing until someone gives me a suggestion in the comments down below of something to do, because I honestly can't think of anything, and this simulation is actually, um, really entertaining to see you know how it all plays out so yeah let's actually set the time 0.5 minutes a second or 30 seconds all right so right now while my immediate my immediate <laughs> observations is that mercury is dangerously close to earth and i don't know if they're going to combine or not but I mean, look how close they are, and is, uh, yeah, that, that doesn't look good, or, actually, looking at it from this angle out, I think er Mercury is just gonna end up orbiting around Earth instead of actually colliding with it. And Earth... Looks like it's gonna fly through Mars ring or er, Mars's rings. Okay, yeah, I haven't recorded in way too long. Uh, Saturn's rings. <laughs> My gosh. But uh, yeah, let's see uh, how this happens. I'm actually gonna speed up the time step. It's going a little too slow for me right now. So we see Earth have on this traje trajectory Saturn didn't waste time either Saturn didn't Saturn didn't waste time um moving out of the way or Earth has changed its uh, gravitational path doesn't look like Earth and Mercury are gonna do anything special really so yeah Mars is actually is that Mars is actually Looking like maybe it'll head towards Saturn. I don't know. I'm not going to deselect Earth just to know its uh, predicted path. Alright. Speeding up the time step a little here. Alright. Is Earth... I think... Maybe Earth is going to pick up a moon? I don't know. Does Ganymede have any... Mm, no, it's too close to Saturn. It'll probably end up orbiting Saturn. Oh, I thought Sharon was, like, right, right on, um, Earth. I'm like, um, see, no. Okay, yep. Neptune is about to have substantial amounts of time. Mm, and it froze. Does it actually... I wonder if that's actually something that happens. Like, does it actually, like, turn into that? Would Neptune actually turn into, like, an ice ball if it collided with Jupiter? I don't even know. Maybe.
trying to think. Is that an actual thing? I can't decide whether or not I think that's real or not. Hmm. I guess it maybe kind of makes sense. Maybe. Maybe it's the pressure from Jupiter? I don't know. I'm just gonna stop thinking because whenever I think it ends poorly. Oh, looks like Jupiter might suffer another collision here in a sec. Hmm, yeah. Looks like it. Let's see the mass of Jupiter. This is worth diesel. Actually, I didn't even have to deselect Earth for that. 1.3 Jupiters now. Speed up the time step a little here. And where's Jupiter off to? Is it off to... It's kind of, it's already on a trajectory towards the sun. I'll speed up the simulation for sure. You can see all these collision impacts because of how massive Jupiter is now. All these things are going to uh, collide with it. Let's get, let's get a closer angle. Yeah, look at all these, um, impact marks. And then you have Sao, or however you say that, um, orbiting super close, not quite, um, hitting the planet. Alright, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see, um, Uranus as well, see what it's doing. Because I like to have all the, um, gas giants within frame. Oh, is Uranus going to crash into it? Uh, no, it's going around. You can see a few of uh, what remains of Saturn's rings just flying around. And most of Saturn's rings are out here at this point, but uh, yeah. Okay. They're trying to keep both gas giants entirely in frame. It's not working. Alright, let's zoom out a bit more. Is Mimus 
skull and crash into Uranus. Nope. It's weird because, like, from some angles, it looks like something's about to uh, crash into something else, and then from another, it looks nothing like that. Ooh, Mercury actually um, coming back here. Don't know if it's going to crash into anything or not. Actually, let's uh, pull up the grid first so we can get a good look at the climate, see how um, much of a chance we have um, with survival. Where's Uranus? Alright. Yeah, we're gonna have to zoom out. Okay, let's change that to hours. There goes, uh, was it series that just crashed? I think it was. Alright, we see Jupiter maybe starting to cool down a little bit. Some of these fragments that are getting really close to it have stuff evaporating off of them because of, um, Jupiter's current temperature. It looks like it, mm, it's cooling down a little bit. Yeah, Jupiter is definitely cooling off. And um, I'm pretty sure we're getting pulled towards the sun at the moment. Very rapidly. Because everything seems to be going in a very specific direction. Venus is actually orbiting right there. Oh. Yeah, some orbits are starting to stop because of how close we're getting to the sun. Monitor the surface temperature of Earth. It's now uh, 17 degrees Celsius. I, I think at least we're getting close to the sun. I'm not entirely sure. I don't feel like changing camera angles just to find out and possibly miss something.
Alright, now Earth is um, kind of coming in close to uh, Jupiter, starting to kind of get pulled into the orbit. Not really. But, uh, yeah. Wait, is it getting pulled into the orbit? I can't really tell. Twenty-eight point four degrees Celsius. Yeah, we're getting close. All righty then. We're gonna need to zoom out right now. Oh, oh. That's why they were going so fast. All right. So. Hang on, let's pause it real quick. What did and did not survive? Alright, the sun did get hit. Uh, what's that in terms of the sun? I did it get... Alright, it got hit, but it took a very small amount of mass. Took slash added, I mean. Alright, so Jupiter survived. Actually, let's just use our uh, search tool. Is there anything that hasn't... Mars hasn't gotten yet, there yet. Alright, so... Venus is alive. Earth... Earth... Um... Probably above 100 degrees. Yeah, we did not live this. Alright. And that took 51 days. So, orbits are already starting to reform around Jupiter, it looks like. And, uh, yeah. So now, what we're actually going to do, is we, we are going to, um, well, let's, uh, let Mars, mm, uh, get, see, let's see if Mars survives. That's, that's the phrasing I was looking for. There we go. And you can see all these um, Saturn ring particles just coming in um, because the sun's pulling them in. Uranus is now pretty far away from Jupiter. So Mars got all that alive. So now what we want to do is not that. We want to go into orbits and just look at everything's orbit. So Earth, fairly eccentric orbit. How, how uh, far is that? Uh, it's still... It, right there is still a little, um, closer to the sun than normal. Uh, let's... Where's Jupiter? Jupiter? Where? Jupiter! You need to show yourself. Oh! Wait. So Uranus apparently left the orbit, is that what Jupiter did? Because I'm... oh wait... There it is... And yeah, it still has a few... Um... moons... Those moons being... Ariel, Sharon, and um... Despina... I like that one. But, uh, yeah. 
Um, if you want to pause the video, just, um, kind of observe, observe this, uh, for yourself if you want. But, uh, yeah, this is where I'm gonna end the video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>